to okay all right well this is going to be a quick video i've been wanting to make this video for since last year uh all right i know there's a video out there that has like 30,000 views or something and people it's it's totally made to make me look like an asshole anyway this is about the me versus Trevor king situation i find around so every i'm going to tell you what everyone thinks and i'm going to tell you what actually happened everyone thinks while i was playing I dropped my controller, and somehow the controller unplugged while I dropped my controller, and then I lost to Forever King, and I rage quit, and then I got up and just complained and bitched and moaned or whatever, and was all in somebody's face and whatever. All right, here's what actually happened. So, I'm playing Forever King. Forever King is getting body. Of course, you see it. You watch the video. Um, so, while we're playing, all right, what you don't know is that, like, here's the story behind everything. So, you're not allowed to use wireless controllers at tournaments, right? They're banned, right? Forever King uses a wireless controller. There are some other players there that I'm not going to name where we're also using wireless controllers. So, whoever played before me used a wireless controller. Uh, while we're playing, and I'm doing my combo or whatever, they disconnect their controller and it pauses the game. Now... So me, what I do is I put my hands in the air as soon as it happens to show that it was not me that paused the game, okay? I put my hands in the air to show it wasn't me that paused the game. Me putting my hands in the air, obviously I let the controller out of my hand when I put my hands in the air. They don't show that on the camera, by the way. They show me, you know, scrambling to grab my controller, which I just dropped. As soon as I dropped the controller after I put my hands in the air, after the game had already been paused, I was like, fuck, they're going to think I dropped my controller and it paused or whatever. Obviously, that's what happened. People thought... That's what happened. No, I put my hands in the air to signify that I did not pause the game. All right, and also for everybody who's, I guess, who doesn't think, I want you to do this right now. Go to your Xbox or whatever console you play, right? If you drop your controller, a wire controller, you drop your wire controller, does it unplug the controller from the system? No, it doesn't. So how are you going to say I, me dropping the controller caused the game to pause or caused me to unplug the game? I mean, unplug my controller. Come on now, it's stupid. So, I'm like, all right, I already have the life lead, and somebody else paused the game. It wasn't me. I, that's why I was showing that. Forever King's like, well, I'm going to take it because it says you paused. I didn't pause. It was somebody else. So, they're trying to say it was me because by the time I pick up my controller and I press the start button, to it, it unpaused like it was me, but it was not me. I did not pause the game. How am I pausing the game while I'm doing a combo? Like, I'm mid-combo. I'm not, like, mashing. If you watch my hands when I play... I'm playing. Like, I'm, I'm never hit the start button or anything. So, it was whatever. I'm like, alright, this is bullshit. I'm like, if anything, I should have lost my damage and made me go to, like, the other side of the screen and make him go to the other side of the screen and then we resume or something. Which, at the same time, would have gave him an advantage because it would allow him to freaking call bats and uh, make it harder to keep, I mean, harder for me to get in since he has the bats to, you know, basically keep me out. So, he takes the game Okay, even though I had the life lead, if anything, he should have took the he should have been able to just take the round, not the game. So whatever. So they're being stupid. So he takes the game, and we're playing, and the game is now. I mean, like I've already lost all freaking. I don't even feel like playing. So I'm already down on life. It's like the second health bar. I have no health left. So I'm like, whatever. Why well, I'm going to just sit here and just and, and keep playing? I know I'm going to lose. Like it wasn't a rage, but I'm like the way the game was going. I'm just. I'm done. There's players who've done it. You've seen other top players do that. People are acting like I rage quit, like whatever. And I got up and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of going to tournaments and something goes wrong. That's exactly what I said. You can't hear what I'm saying, but I'm telling you what I said. I said, I'm tired of going to different events out of the 10 years I've been competing and there's something that always goes wrong. Either the monitors are laggy or the equipment's messed up or the system's not patched or whatever. Shock thought I was trying to shit on the event. So Shock got upset. So, I actually went and talked to Shot, and Shock, and we talked man to man. The guys who run the combat network, Shock. I'm like, dude, I'm not talking about this tournament. I'm talking about tournaments in general that I've been to in my past 10 years. And he was like, oh, okay, my bad. And we hashed it out like gentlemen. Everybody's thinking, like, oh, I was being, no, I wasn't doing that. You go ask Shock today, you go talk to him, you'd be like, no, like it was a misunderstanding, and that's what it was. And I talked to him like a man, and we got that hashed out. Now, let me fast forward after that. So, NEC, right? I didn't go to NEC. But, you know, this same situation happened. But there was an actual pause. 
So, Forever King versus Slayer, I think it was like losers semifinals or something, right? So, while they're fighting, Slayer accidentally pauses the game, and then they immediately unpause it. Forever King, by the way, doesn't take the pause or anything. He doesn't say, no, 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 no you got to stop the game, I win. No, he didn't do that. Instead, because he Forever King was being like, you know, cocky, where he probably was like, oh, I'm going to win anyway, so what? He... He lets the match resume and they keep playing. Slayer ends up beating him. Yeah, so why didn't he uh, pull the, oh, I want to take the game thing on him? But he did it on me, and I didn't pause the game. Anyway, that's, it, it, it shows you, it goes to show you that, you know, people are pretty grimy about winning tournaments or whatever. I mean, I know it's me, so he wants to probably had something against me or whatever. It's fine. Every, not a lot of people like me anyway in tournament. No one wants to play me, but it's cool. I understand. People want to get the wins that they when they can get them or whatever. It's cool, man. Uh, MKX is coming out, so I'm looking forward to playing that and playing people in that. But I need to clear that up because I'm tired of streaming, and then when I stream, well, I'm tired of when I stream, people coming to the stream chat, they're like, hey, what happened? Get you blah, blah, blah. Or people will comment on my videos like, oh, I'm a I'm a sore loser or some stuff like that or whatever. That's not the case. You don't know the, the real story behind what actually happened. And I feel like me being silent about it is more so making me look like I'm guilty. So I just didn't want to get that off my chest because I'm tired of hearing about it. So now, when people ask me about this situation, I can just link them in this video. All right, guys. Um, hope that clears some things up for y'all. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys check out my stream and see me at tournaments. And hope you guys are as ready for MKX as I am.